I did one of these quick videos on kick serve, so now I'll do one on Moray. So this is my Antweight Combat Robot Moray. It's really the main robot that I'm running right now. And I've completely redesigned it since the last event, which was Macro in March. And in about a week, I'm gonna go compete at Rabid. So I needed to make a lot of changes because in March, I was really unsatisfied with Moray's performance. It was driving pretty poorly and the weapon wasn't super powerful. So I thought I could change that too. So basically every single custom part on the robot is different now, except the wheel guards and the wheel hubs. But everything else like the chassis, top plate, uprights, and even the disc itself is completely different. So now I have a single tooth disc, so it should hit a lot harder because with the one tooth, you can just get bigger impacts. Plus it should be able to dig in pretty nice with this angle. And the disc is still made of titanium for weight purposes. And a very big change now is that I'm using this Jesscuz Robotics hub motor, so it should hit a lot harder with a single tooth combined with this much more powerful motor. And this weapon can actually switch directions mid-fight so I can spin downward. This wasn't intentional, I just bought the wrong ESC, but uh, I'm just going to run it for this event just because I think that could do some interesting things. And the uprights, you can see the eel head is a lot smaller now, which saves on weight, but it still has that design to keep it more a. And the top plate is a lot bigger to accommodate this much wider chassis, which should help with some of the drive problems. And yeah, I'm very happy with this new version of more. I also designed some new attachments for it. So instead of a wedge, since I didn't have weight for that, if I fight a horizontal spinner, I'm going to use this armor. So the idea is there's all these little bits sticking out so that when a horizontal spinner hits it, it might tear through them a bit, but it shouldn't get to anything back here. And hopefully they would get really good engagement on this and go flying across the box and hopefully flip upside down so I could come in while they're unstable. So yeah, I don't really want to fight a horizontal spinner since I don't have a good wedge or anything, but this is the best that I could come up with. I also have these TPU forks. So at the last event, the TPU forks were a bit of an issue because I think they were just too thin and they would bend out of the way. And these I don't really plan on using very much, but if I fight an opponent where I think it's too low to get much engagement on it with just the spinner sticking out, I'll run these forks to get under it and feed it up into the disc. So I don't really want to have to use these, but I might have to. But you can see for this version that the disc is a lot lower. So... You can see there, it just barely misses the floor, so it could hit pretty much anything, no matter how low it is. So I'm going to just hope to run it as just a reach spinner and not have to use any sort of ground scraping attachments. Another very big change is this whole weapon assembly can slide out. So I bolt it in with four bolts, but if I remove those bolts, the entire assembly can just slide out really easily, which should make repairs super easy. But with the four bolts attaching it to the chassis, it should be pretty sturdy.
groovy.